Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making page number eight for the Great Grands album for Mother's Day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start out using four by six in full bloom picture my life cards. I'm using the four by six cards for both the background of my layout, but also I'm going to be using them as a feature piece on this layout. This film strip right there is going to serve as quite a big uh, feature on the layout. We'll be using these cute little photos of Anderson. As you can see, the photos don't go together like at all, not even a little bit. I'm just going to be ignoring that for now. There'll be time later to edit these layouts before that album does get sent to my mom. We can do things like change out the photos, maybe add specific different colors. I mean, there's all sorts of things we can do to edit the layout um, just to make sure it all flows together. Um, towards the end when we're putting the album together now we're going to go ahead and move on to the stamping out of anderson's name i don't know why i start out stamping this upside down but for some reason i do i don't know it's weird um we are still using the alpha doodle stamp we're using this for the names throughout the entire album and on this particular layout you know how some of them i've been coloring in and some of have just been leaving black and white my intention was to leave this just black and white but in the end, it ends up being something different. And on this one, as the same as Adriana's, on this one, I am going to be fussy cutting out um, all of these letters for his name. You can see when I'm stamping, I am seasoning the stamp on my hand. And I go ahead and stamp, bam, and then move on. I could have stamped that in two times, right, at the same time, but I didn't. Okay, here is our last letter. I'm going to go ahead and cut. The, I am using big scissors when I'm fussy cutting these. I think they were just the nearest to my hand. To me, it's pretty easy to use the big scissors. And oftentimes, it's easier for me to use the big scissors than to use the small ones. And that could be because I have man hands. I don't know. But... For me, a lot of times the big scissors are more comfortable for for fussy cutting. But if I want to be precision and be right in those small spots, obviously I'd want to have the smaller fussy cutting scissors. But this one, see, we're going to go around this end just fine. Turn, bam. I mean, it was, it's just fine with the big one. So I get it and you get a longer cut with them because obviously the blade's longer. So after we do this, we're going to go ahead and bring that layout back in and see how we're going to put this um, name on here. We still have to glue down that 4x6 card and the photos. I'm going to take the photos away. They're not exactly even, so I am going to take them away and um, kind of make sure that can you see that one right the top one. It's a little bit longer than that bottom one. I will trim that up a little bit. We'll go ahead and commit to the placement of this one. And then put down the photos. Maybe I'm a big storyteller. Okay, yeah, I did take it away. <laughs> I was like, maybe I didn't trim it down. No, I did. We're going to go ahead and commit to the placement of these photos right here. And this black card as well. I'm adding this 3x4 card, this black 3x4 card, on the right-hand side to mirror the black on the left-hand side on that film strip. Okay, perfect. After we go ahead and put down these photographs, we're going to go ahead, and I'm saying going ahead a lot, that's weird. We're going to put down Anderson's name. I'm going to have it bounce from the left to the right to the left to the right kind of a little bit and overlap so it's like not as long as it could be and I'm gonna go ahead and commit to the placement of it using that Tombow Air um, tape runner I would usually use liquid adhesive for this I don't know why I went with the air I think because just in case I needed to pull this up and move it because there's no way I could do that it would not happen if I used the art glitter glue liquid adhesive i did decide to add a black doily up at the top i have been scattering those around um a few different pages to tie in this is a little bowl i have that has some of the info bloom hmm. 
embellishments in them so I was going through there I didn't find anything I wanted so I pulled out one of the sticker sheets and I'm gonna take some white and black foliage off of them I will put one there up at the top and I will put one over to the right hand side I come in I don't know if I do it on a video but I am, am gonna end up putting a pop dot under each one of those stickers that is the foliage the sticker right here I'll end up putting a pop dot under it I don't know why I guess that's just habit I don't really want this album to be thick so I'm trying not to do too much dimensional okay so as you can see I did change my mind about leaving it black and white I thought it needed some color so I am going to go ahead and color Anderson's name in the light aqua and I'm going to color the flower that is in part of that film strip with the aqua as well after I do that I don't do anything else to this layout please check the links down below beckybidding.closetomyheart.com if you'd like to support my channel and I'll see you guys next time bye guys